Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome to something completely different. Welcome to Mana Lords. Now, this is a game that I've been really excited about, and it's currently out on Steam as a demo. So, if you go to the link in the video description, you can download kind of a very alpha version for free, and you can try it out. And it is limited at the moment, but it is still a lot of fun, and the game shows an awful lot of promise, so I'm just going to unpause. Um, now, it is basically a city builder, and I have been playing around with the demo for a bit, and I have built, well, a village <laughs> more than a city. But what really intrigues me about this game is, first of all, it has curvy roads, and I know that sounds <laughs> very silly, but curvy roads make things look so much more realistic, and you've got curvy buildings... Um, and everything's kind of different and off and unique in their own way. And I really, really like that. Uh, and the second thing that is really cool about this is it's going to have, well, a lot more. Um, this is just the very kind of basic city building uh, side of it. Um, kind of a game audio is a little bit loud. Hold on. My apologies. Professional, as always. Um, and, you know, you, you can build houses. And one of the cool things I find with the game is you can add a little vegetable garden. Uh, or, where is it? You can add goats. Or chickens and as you can probably see by the uh, level of detail when you zoom in see if we can find a person wandering around normally not too hard here we go you see the, the level of detail is is really really high um, everything just looks really really nice and everything gets built and it's all messy and if you've seen any of my city skyline stuff uh, you'll know that I, l I like things that are a bit messy. Um, and it's just really, really fun. The demo I've been playing for, I don't know, four or five hours or something like that. It's probably about what you're going to get out of the game at the moment. But um, it shows an awful lot of promise. And the demo is genuinely really, really fun. And it's just a really nice looking game. <laughs> um... And it's really fun and quite intuitive as well. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, you can build some, just frankly, a really pretty settlements without much in the way of thought or, or um, skill. I mean, all I've done here, so th this road coming through the middle, you start off with, and all I've done is kind of build build off that and I haven't really done it in a particularly uh, <laughs> measured way but that gives you something that looks really really nice and there are lots of cool things about this game uh, for instance the way you lay down the plots and can just show that off so if I was to build another set of houses down here you can see how it snaps to the roads which can be incredibly handy. So you can kind of go something like that. Uh, it's too steep here, but you can see how the, the snapping would work, or you can try and fit something in this weird shape, and it will actually let you try to do that. Um, you don't have to stick to squares at all. You can build in all sorts of weird and uh, wonderful shapes. Uh, you can build something like that and you can actually twist these so that you can build change the orientation and stuff like that it is very very nice uh, the road tool again defaults to curvy which is something that really really speaks to me and yeah it just looks really nice um, and in terms of resource management um, it's just Kind of makes sense you know you need fuel you need food to survive the winter um and then once you've got that sorted you're looking to 
well, make money, basically, and that will tie into the rest of the game, uh, which will include uh, trade. So uh, there is a this is this is not fleshed out by any any means any means. Uh, work in progress uh, notices everywhere, but uh, I, this this map actually updates. So this is this is the village that I've built with the little kind of smithy and iron mining down here. This is actually like live update on this level as well, which is very very cool. Um, and it actually has strategic zoom, a la Supreme Commander. <laughs> and eventually you can start training troops and there will be a total war style uh real-time tactics kind of battle part to the game which i think is again very very cool indeed um highlights for me include this church model that is absolute you can zoom right in and they absolutely look fantastic um and this is the manor house here which again looks really really nice great view as well um and it's, it's just a really really nice game made and this is <laughs> mind-boggling by a solo developer uh, of all things and it does have already in the game some very cool stuff like seasonal changes which i will show off in a second Welcome back, and as you can see, it is now winter. <laughs> it's December, as opposed to June, and yeah, really, really cool looking snow effect. And uh, I can also show off the building, because this plot here, I can upgrade it to level two. And what you'll see is how the building works so they will summon some logs which will arrive via ox and I'm just going to put it on time 60 because it can take them a while to realize that's what they need to do so here we have a log arriving and then we should get some villagers arriving to construct this Yep, here they come. That is a loud cow. <laughs> you can kind of see them building up the walls, and eventually they will start redoing the roof. There we go. And this is... When you're constructing buildings, you see this lovely kind of realistic way of buildings going up, where they they put up the uh, the frame um, and the walls and things as as it goes, and as you provide materials, a really nice visual effect. And then the roof goes on, and then they'll be finished in a minute. But there we go. And all the building is like that. It's a really, really satisfying game to play. Uh, and as I said, I've been playing around with the demo for, well, pretty much all day. And yeah, this is this is the little village that I've created. And, and it looks great. And I'm uh, keen to wipe it all and try again. Because be warned, there is no ability to save <laughs> in the demo. Um, available for the next, uh, I think it's available until the 10th of October. Um, go and check it out, and uh, when the game comes out, I will definitely be featuring it on the channels on my Steam wish list already. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Manor Lords, hopefully. Bye for now.